mean, all my memories are mega uh, are fond. I mean, the fact that he only ate toast and chips was always a bit of a smile. You know, when you go to a, when you get taken to a cordon bleu restaurant and make all his toast and chips. Um, but all my memories of, of Mick are fond. Mick was one of those people that you, there was nothing not to be fond of Mick about. He was ace. And, and what about John? Because you and John were quite close, weren't you? And you'd worked together in the past. You know any funny stories with John? Or? Uh, I can never think of funny stories on on the off. The thing I always remember about John was if you were, if you were on a tube, and the doors opened, and there was someone outside the doors on crutches. While you were thinking, oh, maybe I should help that bloke in, he was already doing it. He was always the first there, John. He was so quick on anything like that. He was fantastic. Um, and that was... And it, it, he went through so many changes. He was really searching for stuff, John. He's found it now. He, he found it years ago. But he was really searching for stuff. You know, he went through all the, the religions. He went. He got into... He was big on Art Nouveau for a while. He really got into that. And Impressionist paintings. Um, and then physiotherapy. He had an operation on his knee very early on. And the way he was treated there. He was always a seeker. Always a searcher. You know? Um, and that's what I remember most about him. And full of humour on stage. On gigs. You know, when with the, all, every Sugar Baby Love we did on Top of the Pops. And we did about eight in a row we came up with a different way for him to do the talking bit. And he threw himself into all that. Absolutely. You know, he was just full of humour, full of life. John was. Apart from being a bleeding great drummer. He's a, he's a gentle soul, John, isn't he? Yeah, he always was, yeah. Absolutely. Most musos are, though. I've no, I've very few I've come across who aren't. And what about Alan? Any fond memories of Alan? Well, he, he did have that one way of not thinking before he spoke which could be really it it worked in some instances I met him in town one day we were both gone to Polydor for some reason he said how'd you come up I said on the train he said so did I did you come first class I said no he said I did I said well I'll, I'll come in your first class with you and when the bloke comes around I'll pay the difference and he had his long blonde hair and his fur coat on the typical sort of rock pose thing and we walked in, and there's all these geezers in suits sat there reading the Financial Times. And they looked up at us as if the bad smell had just walked in. And without missing a heartbeat, he just looked at me and said, before you say anything, I've got more money than all you lot put together, right? And sat down. And I thought, I wish I'd said that. That he was good at. And what about Bill? Any fond memories of Bill? Yeah, Bill was a. We shared room, a, a room uh, early on in the, uh, in the Rubettes, and Bill was like that. Bill was very, very down to earth. Very, I don't like to use the word ordinary because it's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, and very, um, again, funny. Um, very adaptable. It's when it came to uh, being in the studio, whatever it needed. Uh, Bill was happy to go along with it if it worked right, you know, if it was going to do the job. <coughs> um, yeah, I can't remember anything overly specific. I mean, I bumped into him, well, I met up with him again more recently, and uh, he hadn't changed. It was just the same Bill. Uh, no, you know, just... I come up with that word that I usually come up with when I define musicians. But like, well, what's one characteristic they... Most musicians, 99.9%, uh, .9 harmless is the word that comes into my mind, always. Um, because that's, I've, you don't meet, it's very rare you meet a harmful musician. I know they exist because people get the bloody band politics and all that thing, but it's very rare. And Mario Lanza, of course, as well. Well, it's a singer. <laughs> I don't. It, that, I don't know whether you class some musicians you class as uh, some class some singers you class as musicians. Some you don't. Um, but yeah, he was he was famous for being well for hitting people, uh, <laughs> which is not very harmless, is it? But generally, they are. You know, they're they're a little musicians tend to be a bit vulnerable and a bit neurotic and a bit and very harmless. Um, and they're nice to be around usually. 
And if they're good at what they do, they're bloody brilliant to be around.